Have you ever had a sweatshirt with a beautiful, fluffy, tender, soft writing on the top of it? I'm talking about those beautiful garments that when you were a child, you couldn't stop touching because that fluffy printing was too comfortable for your hands. This material is called flock and is the same material used for clothes hangers and velvet-like fabrics. If you're a woman watching this video, perhaps you have some flocked tights in your wardrobe right now. It's not velvet, it's not special ink, but what is it and how it's made? Let's see that together. Before looking at the production, let's see the difference between the flock and the fiber. Fiber is the smallest unit of textile production. Flock is a textile dust that is obtained by cutting toes and tops and is charged electrostatically. It can be artificial, synthetic, vegetable or animal origin. It can be also dyed. It's basically dust made of millions of blended tiny little fiber spots. The difference is this. Flocks are blended fibers that are electrostatically charged and sieved. Sieving is essential in order to have a perfect homogeneous textile dust. Flocking can be performed on garments, fabrics or yarns. The process is basically the same. You need flocking fibers and electrostatic glues. If you perform flocking on yarns, you can perform weaving and the garment is ready. If you perform flocking on fabric or a garment, you need to print after the weaving process. This special printing technique is performed through rollers or screen printing. Instead of inks and pastes, you have electrostatic glue. Flocks are fantastic because they are not used just for fashion and garments. They can be used for construction, cement and concrete in order to avoid cracks in the wall and to give better structure and settling resistance. They are used for sound absorbing panels. They can be easily recycled from textile wastes. Blending is easy since the size is very small. They are used for cosmetics, for brushes and creams application. Paper mills. Packaging. Garments hanger to avoid slipping. Automotive. Other applications. The downside is that flocks can expose workers to small nylon particles. These small nylon particulates, if inhaled, can cause flock workers' lung a type of interstitial lung disease. That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video. You will find my details below along with my email, Reddit and so on. If you need any textile consultancy, if you have any doubt, I am at disposal naturally and as usual, stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.